What is nursing informatics? Nursing informatics is a science and practice that integrates nursing, its information and knowledge with the management of information and communication technologies to promote the health of people, families and communities worldwide. Yet at this time, we will focus on nursing informatics in Canada. Prior to speaking about nursing informatics in Canada, let us get a quick look at its healthcare structure. Healthcare in Canada is delivered through a publicly funded healthcare system. Competitive prices such as advertising are kept to a minimum, thus minimizing the percentage of revenues that go directly towards care. In general, costs are paid through funding from income taxes. In British Columbia, taxation-based funding is supplemented by a fixed monthly premium which is waived or reduced for those on low incomes. There are no deductibles on basic health care and co-pays are extremely low or non-existent. Although free health care may seem to create a utopian society, it is far from perfect and may create huge amounts of problems for patients in regards to wait time, proper health records, quality of care, so how is nursing informatics used in Canada, and what benefits can it offer? As we have learned, healthcare in Canada is not as simple as it sounds. Although the system may work to an extent, there are problems with wait times and information sharing, as well as priority services to those with greater need. Through a better system of organization and real-time patient-to-care provider dialogue, there can be a great improvement in many departments thus eliminating most or virtually all of the problems not addressed by the past system. Many feel that computer and internet technology can bridge the gaps with minimal effort. For example, it's quite a complex process with multiple different disciplines required to get a patient the necessary treatment they need. A patient would start off in the emergency room and be seen by a triage nurse who assesses the patient for the type of problem they have. At some point, a physician sees you and a nurse as well. On top of that, we of course will be drawing blood. We may have an x-ray technician, for example, coming in to do x-rays. Going home, of course, requires interaction potentially with a pharmacist. We've got a lot of people, a lot of providers, wanting to use the same chart. There's always a line. So you can see there's an accessibility problem, of course. We are coming to a point where we need to improve our efficiencies. We have to move in a more integrated fashion. Well, HP and CompuGen actually acted as, as a glue, almost, to, to bring together a group of multiple providers. We went back to the frontline staff. We had physicians, we had nurses, we had pharmacists, all part of a device working group. And really, HP and CompuGen were there trying to provide us with the necessary solutions to meet those demands of each of those providers. So there were two new pieces of technology that Toronto East Journal introduced to our clinicians' workflow. For our nursing staff and our pharmacists, we use MedCarts, designed to try to ensure portability and mobility, really. We wanted to make sure, again, that we could get clinicians to patients' bedside to deliver the right medication at the right time. For our physicians, we're using wireless devices on wheels, or WOWs. They come equipped with a 19-inch HP Compact Ultra Slim Desktop PC. They're durable, they have a long battery life, very strong processing power, a USB badge reader, a fingerprint reader, a wireless patient barcode scanner. I can actually take a portable device with me and go from patient to patient, looking at their medical histories, looking at their results, and sometimes I can even show them right in the room. In the past, what we had was a system where a physician would write an order, a porter would take that down to a central location down in the basement, believe it or not, and that pharmacist would take that order, process that, eventually call the porter again, and bring the medications upstairs. Now, with electronic orders, orders are entered in directly. We no longer have to have that paper processing time. And in the end, I think what we benefited from was, was actually better communication amongst the group. I was quite surprised to see how we could all come together and, and uh, HP and CompuGen really facilitated that process well. One of the other uh, key beneficiaries of the system, I think, are physicians. For example, I had a patient uh, that had a drug allergy, and the drug allergy was to penicillin. 
and this patient uh, had a very serious infection that we wanted to use, a drug called Mirapenem. The technology alerted us that Mirapenem is a drug that's very related to penicillin groups. And uh, had I actually offered the patient Mirapenem, that they may have actually had an allergic reaction, so it could have been quite serious. We avoided a very serious complication. We now have more time to spend with patients looking at the various medications, looking at drug interactions, looking at potential allergies, and trying to optimize patient care. I think you're going to see a, a far greater partnership between IT and a lot of our clinical staff. I think the potential here is limitless. We're really sitting on a verge where I think the technology we're seeing is much like the stethoscope.